Welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. Hello, John. Whoa, with somebody who loves me. Come on. <laughs> oh, I miss Whitney. Hey, how are you feeling? You know, I'm just preparing, and I'm in good spirits, and I'm going to stay there. We just got to keep moving. This is true. Uh, I know you've already voted. I know you're going to be down in Philly tomorrow, right? Woo, yeah, we're going to be in there, and we're going to be bringing love and joy amidst whatever happens. Now, I also want to let everybody out there know that uh, our late night, uh, late show digital team has got a big day tomorrow. They're presenting an all day online event, a late show pre show, hoping for the best, starting at 11 a.m., right up till showtime. Uh, yes. Check it out on the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Facebook. Visit at Colbert Late Show at all those different uh, vehicles, and you will find them, you will find me, you will find us, and you'll be ready for tomorrow night's show. It's going to be great. Everybody stay cool. Stay cool, y'all. Oh, yeah. Please, stay cool out there. <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Yes, indeed. Joining me now is the host of Last Week Tonight on HBO. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. John Oliver. Hello, John Oliver. Hello, everyone. Hola, Stephen. <laughs> Hola. Hola, John. Why not? Uh -huh. No pressure, by the way, but uh, <laughs> you're the lead interview tonight. The second interview is Cher. You're opening for Cher tonight. Yep. Did you ever dream that you'd be wearing that when you opened for Cher? That's how, right. dare, this, how dare you wear this that? This has at least a thousand too few sequins on it. This is a absolute sartorial disgrace it to is, set up a chair but i am not i we talked about this the last time you were yep. you were my first guest in the afterscape when we went That's into right. covid when we finally i did like a couple like i did a bathtub shows but when i actually got I set up at my I house yeah. you were my first guest again thank you oh. for that you are You're my welcome. you are my last guest before the great changing of the age whatever it may be well, Cher is. Cher is, Cher is the last guy. And I, you could not have picked better. Yes. I, I will say, when they, when they said to me, Cher was going to be on tonight, I did think, that is, I didn't know before, that is exactly what I need right now. I don't need myself as a guest. I need Cher. You know what? Yes, I am really looking forward to it. She's, yeah. I've always wanted to talk to her. She's Cher. Oh, she's, she's Cher. She's Cher. Have, she you, Cher. Have, you, have, you, have you talked to Cher before? No, I haven't talked I to don't know. Cher before. There's Why no wouldn't you? To stop that. Why, you don't bump into her backstage at all the, the at parties the you go to? No, I don't. No, no, no I don't. I, I watch what she does on Twitter every now and then because she's spectacular Unbelievable. on Twitter. Unbelievable. I'll read this to her. She's like, she's like all caps mama out there. All, all, all caps. And she tweets like a kid who's just had, a toddler who's just had two Mountain Dews and has learned what emojis are for the first time. Yeah. She goes hard. Uh, obviously, it's a big week for the country. It's a big, big week for the world. America's uh, elections yes. mean something yeah. everywhere. I wouldn't understate uh, the extent to which the rest of the world is emotionally invested in what's happening. Really? Have you well, spoken well, to any of them? Because I, I haven't talked to anybody. Yeah. I Just because of COVID, I don't want to spread it outside of our borders over a telephone yeah. line. How are other people, like over back in uh, Angleterre, Back over yes. in the UK, how are they perceiving what's about to happen? Well, my, my best friend uh, texted me at like 5 a.m. this morning and he said, hey, is it tense over there? And I looked back, I was quite bleary, went, texted him, went back to sleep. All I, all I texted, all caps, share style was pretty tense! <laughs> Exclamation mark, send. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it, it read as punchy as it was supposed to. Mm. Yeah, they were, yeah, it's, um, uh, they are all waiting with um, invested interest mm -hmm. in the way that America is going to swing. Now, you you uh, you also have a big week because it's your first presidential election yep. now that you're an American citizen. So you're, yes, you're allowed to vote. A, yep. that's so exciting. It's um, amazing. Yeah. I mean, congratulations on having been made a citizen before this. But what did it feel like to go in there and... And and pull the lever, or however they did it at your polling place. <laughs> it felt, yeah, it was no lever. That was disappointing. It was honestly, it was amazing because putting aside the candidates in this election for a moment, which is already, I feel slightly better. Putting those, putting that aside, as an immigrant who had just got his citizenship in December of last year, I was waiting 
for that to feel real. Like when you worry about your immigration status yeah. all the time and you get your, you, even getting your passport still doesn't feel real because you haven't tested it against a system. And so I, I had thought this will feel real when I leave America and I come back and I'm treated differently by the system. Yeah. And so standing in line, I thought maybe this will this will be it. And it didn't feel that didn't I didn't feel it. Uh, giving them my name and getting the, the ballot, I didn't feel it. Putting scanning scanning it into the machine and the machine s- saying your vote has been counted, I nearly burst into tears. Oh. That is that is the truth. I got I, my, my eyes got missing. I thought, I don't know if I can cry in uh, <laughs> a voting station. That's lovely. A machine, and, That's and lovely. Also, I didn't want to wait for the machine to say, your vote has been counted. Asterisk, you live in New York. So it's counted significantly. Sort of, less, sort, sort of. So give me a ballpark of how many hours you were in line. Was it hours? Was it what? Oh, yeah. It was probably, I was probably, you mean start to finish, join the line, yeah, walk join out of the, the line. That's station. how lines work. Join the line, probably. out of line. Do you not, uh, the queue, does that help? The queue. That's much better. The an queue. hour and a half. I was in the queue hour for an hour and a half. Now compare that to voting in uh, oh, yeah. in UK. I, and you guys just go to pubs there, right? You just say, like, you either pick a pickled egg or a scotch egg, and they know that's what party you're voting for? I mean, okay. I, I wish it wasn't true, but yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you go. Good, good, good. You, you walk, you walk up to the bar. You say, "All right, governor, I'll take the pickled egg." <laughs> really, you're voting for Thatcher again? I am. Uh, no, you, well, the thing, is, what you got to understand is, I think uh, lines have been normalised in America. I think you think that everyone else stands in line for hours. There aren't lines. They, there there aren't, aren't lines over there. No, there's not lines. It's absolute madness to stand. That you have to. That you have to stand in line for that long is an absolute disgrace wherever you are. No, no one else, nobody else has to stand in line for seven, nine, 11 hours, whatever you're hearing about. It's absurd. Now that you voted and you feel more American, have you thought about losing the accent? Um, Have you put any, have you put any effort into it, by the way? Well, I think what I'm scrolling through is which accent do I pick, right? Because if if you're going to get to reinvent yourself, you know, am I doing Bronx? Am I going into kind of 1950s South? Uh, or is it, am I going to the California surfer? There's, there's Delaware, such a Delaware, absolutely nothing. At flat, no, a, a newscaster. Oh, really? Yes, a vanilla on env- a manila envelope taped to a beige wall. No character, okay. no character at all. All right, yeah. all right, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah. I might go with I might go with a really intense Baltimore accent. That doesn't seem to make any those sense. Those are difficult. Those are difficult to do. Yeah, it doesn't make those noises don't make any sense. Can, give, give, me person, give me a taste. Give me a taste. Give me a taste of Baltimore. I have no idea. It, <laughs> oh, so close. No. I, li- I literally Just say, stopped myself. I got stuck in the Fort McHenry tunnel. <laughs> literally. There was some, something physically stopped myself. I was about to have a swing at that. And literally something lives it. There was yes. something in my body that just went, yes. not, that sound can't come out. That yeah. sound. Don't, don't, That's not don't okay. It's actually not okay. John, we have to do that commercial thing that you never have to deal with. But stick around, everybody. We'll be right back with more John Oliver. 